Now one of magic's bread and butter tricks, levitating a woman. The illusion begins with our assistant taking a few moments to set up the trick. She's trying to prove that the ring is solid. I can tell you right now that it is. More girls, more rings, more dancing. It's all part of the performance to make the trick seem even bigger than it really is. The magician looks for just the right assistant to levitate. Sometimes a magician will select someone from the audience. That person is known as a shill and is always in on the trick. What a shock. He chooses the assistant that just happens to be wearing the long flowing gown. Her dress is an important part of the illusion. The magician gazes into her eyes as if to put her into a deep trance. This is to convince you he's a master hypnotist. The assistant acts as if she's under our magician's hypnotic powers. He puts her on the table and her body appears to go limp. Now the levitation begins. It appears as if she's floating in midair. Obviously this is impossible. He moves his hand underneath her body to show that nothing is supporting her. Now he moves the ring completely around her, proving she isn't being suspended by wires or cables. Remember, as we told you before, the ring is solid. The magician makes it appear as if he's using his hands to guide her down. Slowly she floats back to her original position and is brought out of her hypnotic trance. Now for all of you playing at home, here's how it's done. First, in order to levitate, you don't need to be put into a trance. All you need is some heavy machinery and the right evening gown. Look closely. When our assistant's dress is not draped properly, you can see that she's actually lying on top of a three-foot wide platform. The platform is black, so you won't be able to see it against our curtain. It's attached to a hydraulic forklift positioned behind the curtain. When the magician gives the cue, the magical forklift operator raises and lowers the platform. It's not very magical when you see how it's done. Now what about the solid metal ring? It looks like it passes completely around the assistant. But this is merely an example of sleight of hand. He's only making it appear as if the ring is going all the way around her. From the back, we can see that the bar attached to the forklift prevents the ring from going all the way around the assistant's body. It's the magician's sleight of hand that makes it look as if it really did. And that's the secret behind this classic illusion. Sorry to bring you back down to earth, but this is the only way to levitate.